A six-month-old baby boy is brought to the pediatric emergency department by his anxious parents. They report that he has been coughing and congested for the past two days, but this morning his breathing suddenly worsened. They noticed that he was breathing faster than usual and seemed to be struggling to catch his breath. On arrival, the baby appears irritable and tired. His respiratory rate is 58 breaths per minute, clearly above normal for his age. His chest is visibly moving in and out rapidly, and with each breath you can see subcostal and intercostal retractions, a sign that he is using extra muscles to breathe. His nose flares with every inhale, and he has an audible wheeze accompanied by a wet, crackly sound with each breath. His mother mentions that he has been feeding poorly today, taking only half his usual amount of formula, and that he had fewer wet diapers. The baby attends daycare, and several children there recently had colds. He has had no vomiting, and he is up to date on his vaccines. On examination, the infant looks congested with a runny nose. His oxygen saturation is 92%, slightly low, and his chest exam reveals diffuse wheezing and crackles. There is no focal consolidation, making pneumonia less likely. The combination of upper respiratory symptoms followed by progressive breathing difficulty strongly suggests a lower airway infection. Bronchiolitis is most commonly caused by respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. The virus infects the small airways, leading to swelling, mucus plugging, and narrowing of the bronchioles. Babies, especially those under one year old, are vulnerable because their airways are smaller and can become obstructed quickly. Management focuses on supportive care as bronchiolitis is usually viral. The baby is given humidified oxygen to keep saturations above 94%. Nasal suctioning helps clear mucus to improve breathing and feeding. IV fluids may be needed if the baby cannot maintain adequate hydration. Antibiotics are not given unless there is evidence of bacterial infection. In severe cases, some infants may require high-flow oxygen or hospitalization for close monitoring. Premature infants or those with heart or lung disease are at higher risk of complications. Key takeaway, rapid breathing, wheezing, nasal flaring, retractions, poor feeding, and low oxygen saturation in an infant with a recent viral cold strongly point to bronchiolitis, most commonly from RSV. Early recognition and supportive care are essential to prevent respiratory failure.